Hello guys and welcome back. So in the last section we discussed how a component class interacts with its components template uh, in four different ways. Uh, now uh, in this section we wanted to talk about uh, view child and content child and view children and content children and how a components template can have ex or a component class can have access to um, elements that it has in its template. Okay, but before that, we need to uh, have a look at how we can pass some data as an input to the child component. Okay, so in this case, uh, let's start with that first. Now, first, I need to create components. I'll create two components and then I'll uh, add one component as a child of the other component. Okay, so let's create the parent component first. Uh, ng gc. components uh, this will place the newly created components uh, components in the components uh, folder and now i'll name this say message list okay and i'll create one more component and call it just message okay so it already updated the app module for me added those components to the declarations array right here okay uh all right now uh let's see how we are going to use it so in the message list component okay let's create a property okay i'll call this messages that would be a string array and it will contain uh messages in the form of strings okay so i'll just for the sake of simplicity i'll name these um message one two three four let's say uh just four messages are enough as of now okay and now in the now what uh, what our objective here is that we want to use the message component inside the message list component and pass it one message at a time okay so i'll have a list of messages in the message list components template here okay and uh, i'll render the template that we have in the message component inside the message list component okay now uh, in here i have a list right so right now the the items in this list is just four but say if there are more than uh, about hundreds of uh, items in this list then doing something like say a hundred times wouldn't really make much sense right so there must be a way in which i can just specify uh, the app hyphen uh, message once and then uh, it could get this particular line could get repeated for n number of times n being the length of these messages array okay so to do that we have a directive provided by angular its name is ng4 okay and it's a structural directive okay uh, because it plays with the structure of the dom that's why it's called a structural directive and every structural directive that angular provides is used with the asterisk asterisk uh, symbol before it okay so ng4 is the name of the directive and to use that we need to also specify the asterisk sign okay now the syntax for ng4 is this okay uh, let message message would be a temporary variable that gets created on the fly okay and here off after off we need to specify the name of this property which actually contains the list of messages like so okay um and now if i save this okay and let's just uh, clear this and run the app by typing in ng sir okay uh, while it's running let's also quickly add the app component uh, the message list component to my app component okay so that it gets instantiated there i'll just get rid of this 
markup right now because I don't really need it. Okay, and then I'll specify the app message list component here and save this. Okay, so now if I navigate to my app that is running on localhost colon 4200 and reload the page, okay, I should see uh, these tags right here. Okay, this is the markup for the message list uh, component while this is the markup for all for every message that we had in the in the message list uh, uh, in the message list okay so if we inspect the element here we'll see that there is a app hyphen message hyphen list component inside which uh, we have four app hyphen message tags that were added okay and how is that possible that is because we used ng4 it looped through the list of messages that we had okay and for each and every message it created a app hyphen message component okay and added it to the dom okay now uh, let's just um, quickly change this text right here instead of paragraph i need i uh, specify an h1 tag here and i'll say list of messages okay so it changed to list of messages but right now the issue here is that i'm just seeing message work uh, message works uh, syntax uh, or message works message okay but uh, i already have some messages here and i wanted these messages to show up on the list okay uh, but here since we are using the message uh, component and inside the message component the markup says message works that's the message that we are going to see here okay um, so we'll need a way to you know pass the messages from this component to this component okay so the message list component right here is the parent inside which we are using the message component which is the child okay and we are also passing in uh, i'm uh, we are not passing any message as of now okay uh, what we want to do is we want to pass a message from the parent component to the child component okay so to do that we'll have to first create a property inside this component that can receive that passed message that we would be passing from the message list okay so to do that i'll create a message property which would be of type string let's say okay now there is a there is something that i'll have to specify to angular so that it knows that this message component has a property to which i can assign a value from the parent components template where i'll be using it okay so i'm using the message component here and i want to specify a message for each and every instance of this message component okay so let's say i have a message property on this app message component that i want to specify this message that was created on the fly okay so uh now we have a message property here okay and we also have a message list property uh or sorry uh, inside the message list components template we have used the mess that message property okay and to which we are assigning the value of message that is taken one at a time from the messages array that we have right here okay now it's compiled successfully but let's see if we are going to get the response Okay, so I reloaded it, but I'm still not seeing the message here. Oh, I didn't save this. That's the first issue. Uh, also, since I'm getting the message here, I should be using the property binding syntax to um, interpolate that and display that on the screen. So I'll save this. And now I'm not able to see anything. Okay, so let's 
pop over to the console and see what the error is so it says that it cannot bind to the message property since it is a known it since it is not a known property of the app message component why is that we have the message property here okay and we are binding to that message property of the message component in here inside the message list components template but we are still not able to but we are still getting that error why is that well that is because we have specified a property on the child component that is the message component but we haven't specified and we have we haven't specified this property as an input property okay we need to tell angular specifically that this particular property is something that can be used as an input property okay so that whenever the user or whenever the developer of uh, the developer who is using this component uh, does something like this okay so passes in a message property or uh, or any particular object while using it i may get it inside this property that i have defined okay so to do that there is a way angular uh, uh, provides us and that way is to declare this property as an input property okay now to do that i'll have to decorate this property with the input decorator okay and the input decorator is something that i can import from angular core okay now if i save this and let the app reload uh i'm getting the messages properly here okay so this is how you can uh, you can create a property on the child component like so and pass uh the value of that property from the parent component like this okay so this is uh this is how you can pass some value from your parent component to your child component okay now uh, this video is getting a bit longer so i'll have a discussion on the view child view children content child children content children in the next video okay so i'll see you in the next video bye